Let's take a look at the Poisson, the Poisson distribution. Well, if I get my pen to work here, there it goes. And on these examples, we'll assume the mean is equal, I don't know, 10. Actually, that may be what I put in the homework. Uh, 5. And we'll look at our different cases. Our first one is we'll look at the probability that we're going to get um, exactly 4. So x equals 4. Um, okay. Let me come over here and we'll do an equals Poisson. Then um, the first thing we put in is since it's exactly 4, we'll put 4 in. Then we'll put the mean in, which we said is 5. And cumulative would be 0 since it's exactly 4. And then enter. That's exactly 4. And that'd be our answer. <coughs> now let's say we're looking at the probability that x is less than... Um, Six. Well, then we'd have um, if I write them all out: zero, one, two, three, four, five. Doesn't include six since it's less than six. So it goes from zero up to a number. If it goes from zero up to a number, you can type it in like you uh, directly into your Excel. Uh, this ends with five, so keep that in mind. It ends with five. <coughs> We'll do a Poisson. And the first value here is the ending value. So it ends with 5, so we'll put 5 in there. Unfortunately, my mean is 5, too. I should have chose a different number, but oh well. Comma. And I'll do 1 for cumulative. By doing 1 for cumulative, it'll add up all the probabilities from x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then that 5. And this was, what, x is less than 6? Well, let's, boy, my, um, I may have too many things running here. I don't know if my memory's getting, <laughs> let's say probability x is less than or equal to 3. Anyway, it's doing funny things. Well, less than or equal to 3 is 0, 1, 2, and 3. It includes 3 since it's less than or equal to. So again, our ending number going from 0 up to a number is 3, so keep that 3 in mind. Over here, we're going to say equals Poisson, and the ending number when going from zero up to a number. Our mean is still five, and cumulative that'll add up all the probabilities from x equals zero, one, two, up to three. This one's x is less than or equal to three. <coughs> Let's look at uh, x is greater than, uh, I don't know, 7. If I think what uh, x values that would be, that's um, 8, 9, 10, on up to infinity. Poisson, Poisson distribution doesn't have no ending. You assume infinity, even though sometimes that doesn't make sense. Well, in order to plug it into our, our Excel, we have to have it go from 0 up to a number. Well, if, if you think of one. Uh, this represents 100%. This is all of our possible cases. If I subtract off 0 through 7, again, uh, 1 is all, everything, so that's uh, probability x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 2, up to x equals infinity. If I um, subtract off 0 through 7, that'll leave me 8 on up. And this is going from 0 up to a number, so we're ready to plug that in our, cal our calculator into Excel. So do equals 1 minus, that's our first part, and then 0 to 7, so we'll do Poisson, and the ending number when we're going from 0 to a number, so we'll put 7 in, then 5, and then you have to put a 1 for cumulative, because that'll be x equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And what was this one? Probably x, x is greater than 7. Got two more cases. Our fifth case 
is where we have probability x is greater than or equal to um, 3. Um, now the wording may be such, you have to interpret the wording. You know, at most, what does that mean? At most is less than or equal to. Um, at least, well, that's greater than or equal to. But this would be um, 3, 4, 5, on up to infinity. And um, in order to plug it into Excel, I have to have it go from 0 to a number. So I rewrite this. Remember, 1 is everything. And if I subtract off 0 and 1 and 2, that'll leave me 3 on up. Um, so we're ready to plug that in. Again, our ending number when we're going from 0 up to a number is 2. So let's come over here. 2 equals 1 minus Poisson. Uh, what did I say? 2? Yeah, 2. And then our mean, which is still 5, and our cumulative, which is 1. Again, the cumulative is x equals 0, x equals 1, x equals 2. And this one was probability that x is greater than equal to th equal to 3. Well, we got the, the between case now. So let me um, actually let me scroll down a little bit here, so I have a little bit of room to work. So it's going to be between three and seven. Well, if I um, think of starting at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. If I start off with that, if I subtract off zero, one, and two. So I got the, this list of numbers here. If I cross off 0, 1, and 2, that'll leave me 3 through 7, which is what I want here. Um, and notice each one of these is going from 0 up to a number. That's from 0 to 7. This is 0 to 2. So we're ready to plug that in our calculator then. Our calculator. Excel equals Poisson. The ending number when going from 0 up to number. First uh, braces is, ends at 7. 5 and cumulative minus... Poisson, the ending number when going from 0 up to number, which would be 2 in the second braces, 5 and 1. And that's how we plug it in. And this gives us um, 3 to three to 7, like that. And those would be our answers. And how you do the Poisson distribution on Excel. Figure out how to shut uh, Captivate off.